The Great White Shark attacks again and Jaws the Revenge, the fourth movie, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the theater. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. That's one of four movies we'll review this week. And the question I always have is, yeah. when you see the shark at the top of the water, you only see its fin right. coming out. And yet when you get the shark's point of view, like we just saw, Looking at the people. it's like its eyes are above the water, too. That's a logical error among many logical errors. You've got that That's right. Funny. We saw the same movie. I'm Gene Sisko, the Chicago Tribune. All the major players are gone from Jaws the Revenge, except... Roy Scheider's wife, and her name is now just a trivia question, Ellen Brody, played by Lorraine Gary, wife of the boss of MCA Universal Pictures, which happens to make the Jaws movies. 3D failed to save the series the last time out. This time, an idiotic script sinks the whole show. The premise, Ellen Brody is a widow. Roy Scheider's character has died, meaning Scheider has enough sense to know when to stop bilking the public. And his wife in the film is convinced that a great white shark has a grudge against her family. Now, you can just hear those sharks talking. I'm going to get me a Brody if it's the last thing I do. Er, er, er. <laughs> I guess that's what they very, say. Very realistic. Thank shark you. talk. There I know. Else. That would have been more interesting than the movie. Anyway, here's an example of Ellen Brody's fear. The scene is very early in the picture, so veteran moviegoers should be able to figure it out. Like they say on Saturday Night Live, I hate when that happens. A dream sequence. People were groaning in the theater when that happened. I mean, I want to go up and punch a hole in the screen. They were groaning when that happened. How about the next dream sequence? Another it's I only a dream. I can't stand the dream sequences. Why do they do that in the movie? If there's anything that annoys an audience, it's the dream sequence. I hate that stunt. It's old. It's cheap. It's a lousy gimmick. And I wish they would stop doing it. And then that describes a whole movie. You want to probably see what the shark looks like. They show more of it this time. And by showing more of it, actually, at the end, it sort of looks fake. As for the final confrontation, Michael Caine plays a pilot who joins Ellen Brody and one of her sons, the other's dead, and one of his friends in trying to drive the shark crazy by first making it swallow an electronic beeper box, death by noise. Kevin, try to start the engine. Let's get out of here. No, it's too late, Hogan. He's gonna come for us. Give me a hard point. Right. Keep it steady. It's gonna come back. He's down. This movie is so badly made that the death of the shark isn't even set up well. There's a key shot missing so that we don't even get the whole picture. We walk out of the theater very frustrated. And that last scene is preceded by one of the most glaring errors in recent movie history. Michael Caine has been in the water, has swim to safety onto the boat. But in the very next scene, his shirt is as dry as if it had just been freshly laundered. Let's hope this is the end of the Jaws series. The first film was thrilling and well acted. The rest have been trash. It's not even the next shot. Michael Caine actually comes over the rail out of the water, right. and he's totally dry. I, I was know. sitting in the theater, and I said, his shirt is dry. You know, know. The it's preview audience uh, appreciated that. You know, I always hate it when people talk during the movies, but I don't know. That seemed to go over pretty well. Yeah. You know, I got a question for you. I go may ahead. be very badly confused here. In this, I, you, you know, usually am. In this movie, yeah. this shark wants revenge against the Brody family. You got it. Yes, okay. Now, in the first movie, what happened to the shark in the first movie? Dead. Blown to pieces, right? Yeah. What happened to the shark in the second movie? I know, dead. You're right. Uh -huh. What happened to the shark in they the third movie? They all die. They all die. So in that case, They're family. what shark is this? A friend of the other shark. Is this like a cousin, a nephew? You got it. A next door neighbor? And you know what's so great? What? You see, by having this gimmick, that means that even though this one dies, she still was going to stay living in that stupid town instead of moving to the Middle West where she should be, away <laughs> from sharks. <laughs> So in any event, all sharks have a revenge against the You got family. it. Right, okay, I got that.